All right, it is time to rock out with my sockets. That sounded a lot better in my head. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we are back on the cheap cheap. And uh, in case you missed it, we stripped her down to the tub, painted her. We did a bunch of frame repair, which I don't really expect you to see under there. Painted the whole underside, painted the whole inside, painted the whole outside, and uh, today we're going to be working on the dash and maybe even start the windshield. We have to remove the glass from the existing windshield and then reinstall it into, uh, well, basically we bought another rotted windshield but good glass. We got to take that glass out and put it in our new painted windshield. So I'm going to get some tools together, get some motivation going, and uh, we're going to get this going. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt. I just spent about 10 hours editing videos. So I got like five new Jeep videos coming up soon. One thing I noticed on film that you really don't notice in person is that even though it's the same paint, this is a completely different color than this. And I know exactly why. Over here in the light, maybe you'll be able to see it. And my buddy Kevin told me when spraying metallics, that this will happen. Here, I sprayed horizontally. Here, I sprayed vertically. And it's hard to tell in person, but my God, this color looks so much better than this color. And it really stands out on film. So if I wasn't editing, I wouldn't even know it. But yeah, I'm going to be pulling the hood and repainting it. So don't worry, guys. I got this. Let's get back to the video. So once again, we're back. Uh, last night, didn't film anything. I just went through basically uh, cleaning and painting junk. Like uh, I cleaned these up, mounted these, cleaned up the seat belts, painted and mounted the brackets. Down here, we got the seat brackets painted and mounted in. There, there. We got the hitch mounted in. What else? Uh, license plate, tire carrier. Just you know, nuts and bolts. These are the rears, the rear seat belts. They're still drying. So our main objective of today is going to be focused right here. So let's go downstairs in the basement and start pulling parts. Something else I just got doing in my mad rush to get this thing together. I forgot this big old gasket here. So I had to pull the cowl off, put this gasket on, but that was easy. So this is the goal for today. We have all of these dash pieces to put on. And I believe the airbag, I think that went on, that came out last. So we're gonna put the airbag in, then put the rest of the dash in. And uh, we're gonna run ourselves out of parts, at least down in the basement here. I got the, oh, that's the panel for the windshield, which we're gonna circle back to that. So I'm going to start getting these upstairs. As you can see, we have all of our screws all labeled in the dash bag. And, and in my opinion, Jeep totally over-engineered this. We're definitely not going to need this many screws. And I'm not just saying that because I'm sure I'm going to have five or six left over. So we're going to start throwing these in. Well, for my purposes, I think the hard part is done. Uh, like I said, hardest part was the airbag. For the bolt on this side, the best thing you could do is grab yourself a little swivel and go in from the top right here, and you can reach that. This side, it just sucks. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, it is way, way, way up there, and yeah, you really can't even see it. So you got to take this little stupid heat vent out right there. You got to take that little screw, which also sucks. And then poke and pray till you finally get up there with a couple different extensions and swivels. But we're in good shape. We're going to go get all the rest of the parts and we're going to start slamming it. So I don't really have a game plan as far as what I'm doing as far as order of the dash goes. But I got 42 of these little screws left. Six of the regular Phillips. Not really sure what they're for. So, uh... I know this isn't really exciting, but I'm just going to throw this on a, throw the GoPro on a mount and uh, 
start throwing parts at this. All right, this was a little bit of a bitch, but I got two plugs here. I have no idea what this top one's for. Uh, it doesn't plug into the heater, so I don't know where else it could be. I know this is my cigarette lighter. I screwed up because I pulled half the dash out after struggling for 15 minutes. I ran it through this hole. That's not where it goes. Then I put the face on and realized that you have to put this stupid piece on first and then put the face on. So I'm going to set you guys back up in the back and we're going to get this on. And this stupid piece up here, I've had to have that out 15 times because I had to pull it again because there's a screw that goes there on the face. So let's get going. Alright, so with the exception of uh, having to get a stereo and a new adapter, because this one was just rigged in there, I have no idea what it was about. Uh, I'm missing the steering wheel nut, so I can't proceed with the airbag. I'm going to have to look around for that. I have the biggest fear that I threw it into my, into my bin of hope. So in the meantime, let's get uh, this center in. So here we go. We got the interior all done. Now let's just pretend that the steering wheel is not clocked 180 degrees. Luckily, I don't have the nut for it, but I just want to see how it looked. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, now, well, we're going to fix the steering wheel, find the nut. I'm going to look around. I might have a stereo. I'm not going to have an adapter, so that really doesn't matter. I know I have a sound system. Maybe I'll start running that. Or, uh, you know what? I'll work on the seats. So, um, yeah, I think uh, probably only one more video and this is going to be done. I mean, it's been five weeks up to this point. I'm very, very happy with it. The windshield's a completely separate video. You guys will see that maybe before, maybe after. So, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get off the couch and get in the garage. In case anyone was wondering, yeah, there are uh, seven left over. But I promise, nothing important.